Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video, let's talk about the new chips launched by MediaTek. And these were actually launched in India. Generally, other, uh, what do you say, chip manufacturers always launch it in US or other countries. And I'm really happy that MediaTek launched this new series of chipsets in India. And in fact, they launched two chipsets, the G90 and the G90T. And MediaTek says that, if you notice, this is known as the Helio uh, G90. And earlier, uh, what do you say, MediaTek chipsets were P. So the G, G actually denotes to gaming so let's talk about them in this video so let's talk about the architecture first and this is also an octa core uh, processor based on 12 nanometer process uh, but uh, it's actually divided into two powerful cores and these uh, powerful cores are the arm cortex a76 and the other six cores are based on the arm cortex a55 and these can be clocked up to 2.05 gigahertz the important thing is the gpu the gpu on this one is the mali g76 uh, gpu and this can be clocked up to 800 megahertz so it should actually provide uh, pretty good uh, performance for uh, gaming and uh, also in terms of ram this supports actually lpddr4x ram up to uh, 10 uh, gigabytes again uh, we have two variants i'll talk about the differences uh, later between the uh, regular uh, g90 and the g90t uh, but again many of you might also be having this uh, question in terms of snapdragon uh, socs uh, which one does this one compete and according to mediatek this one actually the g90 g90t series compete with the Snapdragon 730 SOCs and in fact uh, during the press event uh, they showed some benchmark scores and as you can see with the benchmark scores yes it definitely goes ahead in terms of Antutu 2 and even uh, with the Geekbench as you can uh, see so looks like uh, it's going to be a very interesting uh, chipset even for gaming now moving to the gaming as uh, MediaTek was claiming about gaming performance with this one they have this uh, thing called the MediaTek Hyper Engine which is specifically for gamers and this actually provides lag free touch uh, response so the touch response is actually very fluid on this one thanks to the new hyper engine that we have on this g90 uh, series of chipset also mediatek says that it has enhanced colors and also support for hdr10 for vivid uh, what do you say pictures and for enhanced gaming also it has something like this uh, this is known as the intelligent network uh, uh, predictor engine and here what it does is for example if you're gaming for example let's say pubg on this is heavily dependent on the network and let's say there is some problem with your wi-fi network it automatically within milliseconds latches to your lte network so that your gaming experience is not interrupted so they uh, have this intelligent network prediction uh, uh, which aids in gaming and also another interesting thing is that this one actually supports the gt uh, series supports dual uh, simultaneous wi-fi that means it can connect to Two different routers for example let's say your first router it can connect to 2.4 gigahertz and you have a second wi-fi router it can connect to 5 gigahertz again for the best network latency so these are some of the features uh, that are enhanced for gaming and apart from that uh, the general um, things that you expect with media tech chipsets are still there for example it does support dual volte also it has that 3x carrier aggregation and also 4 uh, by 4x uh, mimo for enhanced wi-fi and also all the ai capabilities that we have seen with earlier media tech chipsets now you might be also asking what's the main difference between the g90 and the g90t uh, essentially these are both uh, the same chipsets but the g90t uh, is slightly more enhanced in terms of ram the g90 uh, can be configured with a maximum of 8 gigabytes of ram whereas the 90t can go up to 10 gigabytes of ram both do support lpddr4 uh, ram and also in terms of camera the uh, g90 has support for for a max of 48 megapixel camera with the triple camera setup whereas the 90t has uh, 64 megapixel uh, and uh, support for up to quad cameras and also in terms of uh, what display uh, the regular g90 uh, has 60 hertz uh, max display support whereas the uh, g90t has uh, support for enhanced uh, screen that can support up to 90 hertz uh, display and also that dual uh, wi-fi uh, and also another thing is that this is interesting it also has dual uh, wake up uh, what do you say voice command for example let's say if you want to have two voice assistants like hey google and amazon alexa you can have two hot uh, keywords with the g90 series so essentially very good uh, chipsets and uh, 
the good thing is that uh, Xiaomi also Manu uh, Jen was there at the event. He has announced that uh, Xiaomi will be launching a new uh, gaming centric smartphone with this new G90 T chipsets. So let's see when it comes out and it'll be very interesting to see uh, when we see new smartphones with this chipset. And I think so the, we will see some new uh, gaming centric smartphones under the 20,000 price band thanks to this uh, new uh, G90 series of chipsets. Anyways guys what do you think about the same do let me know in the comment section and whenever uh, new products launch with this uh, g90 or the g90t i will definitely test them out and let you guys know the actual real world performance anyways guys that's it for now thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video take care guys